Here it is from the back side. A little bit dark in here because I don't have much light, but you can see in here, basically in this back chamber, the utility room, you hear a lot of the subwoofer cars because it's where the subwoofers are. Whoa, that was awesome. And there's some rattling in here that you don't hear inside the theater, but maybe I'll go ahead and try to do a little bit of uh, anti-rattling. Just this is my uh, HVAC system, so it rattles a little bit while the subwoofer kicks in, but when you're down here, that's all right. Wow. So as the lessons learned, my original idea before I learned about infinite baffle subwoofers was to have a manifold and have it port through this skinny wall that happened to be there when I built this four years ago. Um, this is about seven feet high, but maybe nine inches wide. The, the square area is enough, but it's not a free-flowing air chamber. So uh, basically Thomas said don't do this. So that's when I found out I had to cut the hole in the foundation wall that you see here. So this definitely works and it's quite impressive to uh, hear and feel in your body. So the speakers are wired up in your basic parallel configuration. I use just your basic wire nuts to uh, attach them. Wow, I'm feeling some awesome bass as I'm talking here. And uh, later I'm going to do something a little bit more style points, but for now this works until I get the rest of the uh, home theater built. Wow. That's that Adobe Digital Clips intro. Every time that goes through you feel a pressure wave to hit really low frequency effects on that one. 